Good morning, everyone. It is 7.04 and I'm just about to leave camp. And the decision has been, I'm going for it. Why not? I'm out here. I just did 2.30s. I think I can continue. Anyways, have a look at this beautiful camp here that I stayed at. It's the first time that I've seen lawn chairs and beautiful tables. And if there wasn't a fire band and I got here early enough, there's a, some axes and some wood to cut. So that could have been nice to make a little fire. There was a little, little bit of mosquitoes. I did sleep right over here in the green area. <laughs> green area, the grass area. So there's a good amount of mosquitoes, so I had to stay covered up. But other than that, the creek is literally right on the other side. I would highly recommend staying here if you don't mind the bugs a little bit, but really nice spot. I don't know how long these chairs will last. Starting to look a little not the best already, but anyways, I gotta go. I got 36 Ks to do today. Wow, the, the smoke actually isn't horrendous today. Look at this little view I just magically appeared on. Still got some clouds. Look at that. All right, let's continue. Big day today. Not a ton of time to stop. I hate steep, rocky, slippery downhills. You just cannot move. It's so slow. It's like every step I have to brace myself, make sure I don't fall. It kills the feet. Oh. Can I just get to the bottom already? Just had lunch at this beautiful spot over here. I've done so far, it's two o'clock, I just finished lunch. Done 20 kilometers and I've got 16 to go. But with that I have like 600 meters elevation and then like 1200 meters descending. So I think it'll be late night, but I think it'll be worth it to come in get into oh, to the camp and hopefully I've heard rumors that there could be data I hope there is it'd be nice to tell everybody I'm still alive and from where to look for me if they ever deem that that's necessary but anyways I gotta get going or else I'm never gonna make it Just had a good sit here. For some reason on this random pass, there's 4G, pretty much full bars, LTE for Bell. So no idea why, but I was thankful for it. I got to send a couple passages, tell people I'm okay. And yeah, time to keep going. I got 11 Ks. 
mostly downhill till I get to the campground and get out here. But this place I'm at is quite the spot. Anyways, I'll get out of this one here. Good morning, everyone. So I ended up staying over here at Aldridge Creek Campsite, or Creek. They've got a really nice, wide, flat area with a couple lawn chairs. I have met a couple other GDT hikers, which was really nice to see some people. I ended up sleeping right over here. There's a nice table there, just over here. And then like you got a pit toilet over there, so that's always appreciated. But yeah, I definitely dawdled this morning. I, I had three early days in a row, so I took my time. It's 10 a.m. and I'm just leaving camp now. What's on the docket for today is a 30K road walk in which I will wish I did like the two, the father and son that were here and left at four in the morning to escape the heat because they're probably close to camp. And I still have to thir do 30Ks on the road in the heat uh, but yeah it was for some reason there there was data here with Belle so I got to have a nice chat with the girlfriend catch up on all things that is earth over the past five days and yeah I'm kind of sad that I'm missing the Olympics it seems like it's been a quite a fun ride to watch but I've been having a fun and a slash hard time out here myself so it's not the end of the world but yeah this is what I got to start with a nice cold river crossing nothing better in the morning than this get the feet frozen immediately so that's why I didn't bother drying my shoes out last night so I was like well I'm gonna have to cross anyways all right, let's do this. There we go, just like that. I am at 300 kilometers on the trail. Wow, that is far. There's still so much to do. It's kind of interesting because like, on a day by day, it's not like you don't really look at the big picture too much, but every four or five days I hit this kilometer milestone. It's always a good reminder to just pat myself on the back and keep going because I'm having a blast out here. Although, I will say, I've had my down moments. But, I'm sure not stopping anytime soon. Hello everyone, I just had lunch at this beautiful place over here. Nice little table. There was some river access up back there. It's been a pretty hot day. It's about 3.17. I had a good hour, 15 lunch break. And I just kind of sat, chilled. Uh, a guy who was doing some fishing came up and chatted with me. He was 
dumbfounded that I was doing this trail and didn't know it existed, so that was interesting. He offered me a ride to Elk Lake, but unfortunately I refused because it's only 12Ks, but I know I want to hike as much of the trail as I physically can and only take like designated alternates. But anyways, time to get out of here. Got about 12Ks. Hopefully there's a bit more shade outside. It should take me about probably two hours, 45 minutes, something like that. Maybe a little less, a little more, I don't know. Anyways, let's go. Hello everyone. All right, so I got into Lower Elk Lake today at about I got into Lower Elk Lake at around six o'clock, and I went for a nice little swim or more of a lay down in the lake because it was a little too rocky to really get too deep, and then I went. And then I had a supper, and then a, the the view of the mountain looks amazing, but um, it's too smoky to see it, so it just I'm just imagining what it looks like at the moment. So hopefully tomorrow morning it'll be a little lighter, and I could show you guys. And then yeah, had a good supper. And then I chatted with the father and son that I was with yesterday at the Aldridge campsite. And yeah, today has been very much just a. <laughs> I got out of camp this morning, I got on a road, I stayed on the road for 30 k's, and now I'm here. So, kind of a boring day, but honestly, I was I was fine with it, because the last few days have been very tough, and just having a nice chill day, not doing too much, just walking 30 k's pretty much flat, with like, I think it was like 500 meters elevation, but it was all very gradual just on a road so overall a fairly chill day relaxing i'm pretty excited to be done section b very much looking forward to at least ice cream tomorrow hopefully some hot dogs definitely chips and some sort of town food at bolton creek where i'm taking a nero so only 10ks tomorrow but yeah hopefully the smoke is gone tomorrow and i could show you around the campsite because it's it's a pretty nice spot well, yeah, good night, everyone. See y'all in the morning.